Good evening and welcome to the Indie Voice Show, where artists can listen, learn, and grow with knowledge empowering success. And now, here is your host, singer, songwriter, entrepreneur, Miss Wendy Hicks. Everybody. Welcome to the Indie Voice Show. We are live and in color at the Listen Vision Live studio in Chocolate City, Washington, D.C. For those of you that are watching overseas, I am so, so, so excited to introduce to you my friends that for God knows how long. We won't even go Alpha, into that. Alpha? Time is irrelevant, but we've been friends. It's been a long time. I think it has. It's been a yeah. long time. But these are three powerhouse dynamic vocalists some of DC's finest, um, and they have joined forces and collectively make up the group Pink Polish. I felt like saying we're right across from Howard University. I wonder what is that? What is that saying? You what is it? H U H U You know You know we got a Howard University. We got a Hampton guy. Oh the fake H U. Yes. H-I-U. Oh, okay, H-I-U. <laughs> so, so, so Indie Voice, we are, a, we are a show that seeks to empower, inspire, motivate those of you that are watching that are looking to get connected to resources and information to get your projects going. We're in all different phases of projects. Some of you don't know like who to contact with Beats. Um, if you're looking for songwriters, you know, we connect you with people that write music. We connect you with artists. You know, we got a lot of independent artists in the area doing big things. And so we like to share information. And so you are in the right place. If you have questions that you might ask, um, feel free to reach out on my Indie Voice fan page. More than happy to share um, information as, as much as I can. So we're just going to get right into it. Uh, instead of, you know, doing our, our artist quick tip segment, we're going to go right into the conversation and you guys will, you know, gain some knowledge from some of the experiences that Pink Polish has, has had uh, in their careers, both collectively and individually, right? So, <laughs> first, let's start by how did the name Pink Polish come about? Oh, you wow. You want to take that off? Who, me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, uh, we, we had so many, we had the pink polka dots. Yeah, um, that wasn't going to work. No. Right. <laughs> what, what, what was one of the other ones? We knew we wanted pink we because it symbolizes femininity. Uh-huh. So, I think you guys were more so for the pink thing. <laughs> we were. <laughs> we were. We uh-huh, were. Uh-huh. Well, at least she was not. Right. But yeah, the pink is femininity and, you know, womanhood. We're girls. Right. We're women. And um, mm-hmm. also, over time, it became uh, very important to us because pink is also the color for breast cancer awareness. Oh, okay. That's, okay. That's our, um, that is our charity and initiative of choice. Mm-hmm. Nice. We, okay. See, donate. I didn't know that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we support that. That's great. That's great. And then polish comes from, um, actually, a lot of times people can sometimes mispronounce our name. We get palish. We get palish. Palish is, is one that we hear often. But polish, actually, it's P-A. We, we took the first two letters or two letters out of our first names, and we combined them to make polish. So P-A for Pam, L-I for Leisha, and S-H for Shane. Mm-hmm. Okay. And a lot of times you'll see us sitting or standing in that order. In that order. Right. <laughs> As we are today. Take it. Okay, okay. So it's all very strategic. Yeah. Kind of. And, kind of. you know, polish too, girly, that was more so Shane. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, again, okay, so introduce yourselves, even though Alicia just kind of told your names, but go ahead and introduce yourselves. Well, I am P.A., I'm Pam. Uh, Pam Ward, mm-hmm. uh, you want more? You can give uh, us whatever you want. We oh, got time. Sure. I am a mother, a wife, and uh, been singing since I was a little girl. Church, of course, is mm-hmm. where I began. I know I need to look into the camera. Um, <laughs> I saw your look. Um, and been singing with these ladies for eons now, it seems. And, you know, this kind of came about. I also sing, you know, with a couple other groups and bands in D.C. You know, Go-Go is the thing. So I sing with a band called Let It Flow. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Let It Flow. Yes. Bing, bing, bing. 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 Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, my turn. Yes. Hey, everybody. I'm the goofball of the group. Oh. <laughs> 
came here 25 years ago from the state of Washington, so I'm from the other Washington, mm. and I am a singer, songwriter, independent artist, author, um, entrepreneur, full-time job haver, almost wifer, <laughs> again -er. Yes! <laughs> and, <Tell it>. and, <laughs> and um, I, I, I don't, what else? Uh, a life coach. Li life oh, right. Life Hello. coach. Yeah. yeah, all that, you know, that life coach and Did empowerment you coach. Yeah, you say entrepreneur. And mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, speaker, public speaker, coaching, leadership development type person, all that good stuff. Nice. Yeah. Is there anything left? I don't think so. The question so. is, do I have anything left? <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's mommy to Nemo. Oh, yes. Many of you know Mr. Nemo. <laughs> oh, of Nemo Chronicles. Yes. 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 Nemo he Chronicles. needs his own YouTube channel. <laughs> Yes, yes. <laughs> okay. So I am the SH of the group. My name is Sugar Shang, is what they call me. I am a mother of five. They're all grown. They're out of the house. Thank mm -hmm. you. Um, I am a full-time nine-to-five worker. I am singer, songwriter, uh, national recording artist. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, I met these girls. The first time I met these girls, I think I did back up for y'all, right? At that hotel a long time ago. Was that it the was. First time? That I wasn't think, the. That was no, the first time you probably signed back was, up for us. But that wasn't the first time we met yeah, you. Yeah, we had been knowing you. Really? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Gee. I started <laughs> hanging with those girls doing backup for y'all as Edge. Back yes. in the day. Yep. Oh, wow. That's, that's taking right. way yeah, back. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Toya. Yeah, Toya. Yeah, Toya. Yeah, Toya. Yeah, Toya. Yeah, Toya. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay, so. And we're going to talk more about what you guys are doing individually as well. And for those of you that are watching on um, Listen Vision Live and those of you that are watching on Facebook Live, we do have a number up. If you want to call in and say hi, ask them a question, um, feel free. Okay, okay, so let's start with, you know, yes, I've known you guys for quite some time. But I want to know, like, tell me something about Pink Polish as a group that I don't know. And tell me something about you individually individually that I, I don't know well for me you know it's hard working with women mm -hmm. the good thing I like about these girls is we can agree to disagree we have our little ups and downs but we still love each other and we still work together mm -hmm. well as women mm -hmm. so that's my plus about these two fools over here yeah. <laughs> yeah, fools we are yeah, yeah, we, have a, we, we have a solid friendship which is mm -hmm. Um, you you see that, but you don't hear. You see it, and you don't see it. Mm -hmm. Not very very often. And you know, we hear of a lot of um, groups on uh, mainstream level. You know, they may last a little while, and everybody kind of branches out. Um, but I think the the unique thing about us, one of the unique things about us, and um, there are a couple other uh, female trios actually in the DMV area who are yeah. you know still really hanging and really yeah. tight. Mm -hmm. The first one that comes to mind is Shades of Soul. Shades of Soul. Yes. 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 Hey, ladies. Hey, Shout out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But, uh, <laughs> But you know we uh, we are all independent artists. Mm -hmm. We have our own genres. We have our own interests. We have our own personal lives. Right. And there is actual actually a mutual respect mm -hmm. for everybody's boundaries, limits, interests. You know, disinterest. And right. we we just and there has never been a time where it's been like respect this because this is what I want. It, we just naturally mm -hmm. love each other and we love our own space mm -hmm. and we love each other's space mm -hmm. and you know. When you're doing your thing, you're doing your thing. There is no ill will if somebody doesn't make it to somebody else's show. Nope. Right. We just don't have that mm -hmm. with us. We we are we are genuine friends, mm -hmm. sister know. friends, sister friends. That's good. Yeah, That's good, yeah. especially nowadays. And I had mentioned I did a quick Facebook live to remind people to watch or to join us at five. And and you even said something in your bio about being able to work as a group of women and and not have that cattiness. Because yeah, I tell yeah. you, you could be so cutthroat. You can. Absolutely. And so kudos to you for being able to work together and respect mm -hmm. each other and have fun. Yeah. Bell. You fun. know. Bell. Bell. Oh, oh Bell. Bell. Yeah, yes, Bell. yes. Bell. Yes. <laughs> but you know, the relationship is, you know, it, it. we have fun. We have a mutual goal. It's not always fun. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it's fun even when it's not always fun. Right. right. Because we have the common goal. We're all going in the same direction. Right. And we just have that as a foundation. And we work through that stuff. Mm -hmm. We work Absolutely. through it. And I have to say, I mean, I know I've learned a lot from these ladies. So I think we, we all take from each other. Absolutely. We, we learn a lot mm -hmm. from each other, too. Right. And one of the things um, I was thinking, too. So part of the show, the underlying message is that in terms of um, in the music industry and 
really trying to, not, I wouldn't want to say make it, but survive in this industry. Mm -hmm. Again, you have to have access to resources and um, you have to you know, be able to network. It's important to have that personality and that drive to get out and network and meet people. Yes. Um, it's, it's important to set the fear aside so that, you know, you, because p fear is paralyzing and it can prevent you from moving forward. But one of the things um, that, uh, that I see in all of you is that you've overcome that. And I think, and I, I could be misspeaking, I'm not sure, but did we all meet through karaoke though? We yeah. did. And Absolutely. so it's important to yes. show up. It's important yeah. to show up and, and be in the moment and yeah. open and receptive. Yeah. Yeah. So how did you guys, so you met, so how did, tell me how the transition was from karaoke meeting as a group. And and again, shout out to the karaoke folks out there hey, watching. Hey, because family. DC karaoke yeah. is not your regular karaoke. Yeah. <laughs> we have seen as you can see, yes. all of us. Yeah. It is a concert in and of itself. It it's like real serious. It like, is. I have gone to other places and they're like karaoke. I'm like, this is not serious. Right. No yes. Here beefing. Right. right. You know, this is not serious. Right. right. Mm -hmm. Um, well, Pam and I started at Howard, Howard together. University. Uh -huh. yeah. So we were on the band at Howard together, mm -hmm. and then. <laughs> this one is giving us thumbs down. So he went to Hampton. Boo. And, 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 and we started singing um, with a few other friends of ours. You know, mm -hmm. God rest her soul, Kamisha, Kamisha Everett, Everett. Mm -hmm. and um, Hall. Kamisha Everett Hall. Kamisha Everett Hall, and then uh, <laughs> yes. ran again. Yes. We got a lot of bells yes. ringing today. Yes. And uh, Toya Williams, and we formed yes. the group Edge, mm -hmm. and then we started doing the karaoke thing, and right. then that's when we that's when we actually mm -hmm. met Shane. So we're mm -hmm. talking like what mid nineties, mm -hmm. maybe. We also have to remember um, Rashida Jeffers. Rashida Jeffers, yes, <laughs> yes. We were mm -hmm. all, and so, and I think that's maybe when you sing for Edge, the the back, the backgrounds for us, because we yeah. already knew you could sing. We yeah, we already knew you from that. Yeah. And I think, and then also, God rest his soul, Nathan Heathman. Yes. Oh, yes. Right. Shane. Oh, <laughs> yes. Shane, yes. Bell, uh, bell. Yes. Yes. Shane pulled us in as Edge to mm -hmm. do backgrounds. And then um, I think for a couple shows here and there. Mm -hmm. And from there, Nathan started calling us for a yep. few more when he had the larger shows mm -hmm. and wanted more voices. So um, because of Shane, we started working with the great Nathan Heathman. Mm -hmm. And, and Yeah, and got to sing background for Melba Moore. Go on. Yeah. Yes. Khan, Dorothy Norwood. Yep. It was all yep. yeah. 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 a wealth of resources for each other. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. And relationship. And we have just even sitting here talking about it, mm -hmm. you know, even with you, Wendy, there, yes. there's just mm -hmm. the, the the connections that we have from just relationship and knowing yeah. each other have been amazing. And that's what it's about. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it's Absolutely. about. Mm -hmm. So how have you how have you overcome fear? Because I know, again, from knowing you guys, see, I have an edge because I know them, so I can, <laughs> I can ask these questions. How, give me examples of how you were able to overcome fear and get to where you are today. Well, my, mine is funny. <laughs> of course, starting at karaoke, like mm -hmm. you said, um, working it out of the blue down on U Street. Y'all remember that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I, I was always very fearful to um, sing by myself. So I uh, closed my eyes and sang a song that I knew. And when I opened my eyes, there was money at my feet. Mm, that's nice. <laughs> and I was like, oh, maybe people kind of appreciate my voice because I didn't you know, think it was good enough. But because of that and from karaoke, people start asking me to sing at weddings and you know things like that. So I just gained a little more confidence. And mm -hmm. actually doing karaoke, we used to do it weekly, a couple times mm -hmm. a week, actually gave me more practice and um, gave me more courage to sing in front of people so that's how I kind of overcame that mm -hmm. yeah I would say the same um, doing a lot with karaoke and private events private parties mm -hmm. and you know and then of course you know here I go life coach you know dealing with some personal issues and personal experiences mm -hmm. all of that was a combination and having the right support system around me friends mm -hmm. you know it, you know your relatives are a little different you know because yeah. they you know they real forgive it oh, yeah, you, yeah. Know, Ooh, but, you sound good uh, yeah, yeah. And you, you know, <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> right, right. But, um, you know, having the right people around. And then, you know, when you want to, you know, when I wanted to take it to different levels, you know, who, you know, well, who, you know, who could I, who could I rub up against or who, I, who, who can I contend with or, you know, who can I get in the same room with? So mm -hmm. I actually, I'm very competitive. So mm -hmm. I competed against myself a lot, but I mm -hmm. wanted to make sure that I sharpened myself around people who I thought were going in the same direction that I wanted to go with. Mm hmm Oh. Okay. Well, me overcoming my fears, I was thrown out there. 
speaking of Nathan Heathman, um, he saw something in me that I did not see. Mm -hmm. um, and by his passing, it made me realize that I do have a little something to yeah. give. So I had to do a lot of praying because I really was ready to shut down after that. But I had to do a lot of praying and asking God, you know, who am I? What am I supposed to be doing? Mm -hmm. And so um, that's how I overcame my fear. Just, you know, he was like, this is what you're supposed to be doing. Get out there and get it done. Right. Well, thank goodness. Well, no, thank God that you had enough faith and in, in, in his encouragement and yeah. enough belief in yourself to yeah. follow through and, and look at where you are today. Absolutely. Yeah. So we're going to definitely talk a little bit later about what you guys are doing individually. Um, before we take a quick break, um, in your bio, you mentioned fusion kind of to describe your style. So how does your diverse background empower you as a group? Mm. <clears throat> go-go, country western. Yeah, this little bit. Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> country western right here in the middle. Go-go, yeah. <laughs> gospel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Rock. Yeah. 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 Definitely so rock. Yeah. rock, yeah. Yeah, I think... Each one of us bring to the table something different. Absolutely. We just infuse all of that together. Mm -hmm. And it just, it's like we wow each other sometimes. I'm like, be forgetting the same. Too.